right, welcome back to another video. This is Mask of Momentum here. And today we are gonna go over my Calling Dallas list. This is the night before, it's like 11.45. Just kind of completed the list of what I wanna be playing tomorrow. Today we, we are going to be playing the main villain of all the formats, Lexi. Uh, I do need to get a adult hero for her uh, tomorrow, but this is gonna be Lexi. Uh, obviously there's gonna be, everybody knows Lexi, best deck in the format uh, for about like nine months now. Uh, and I'm just gonna be playing it for probably the last calling she's going to be legal in. So I thought about going out with her with a bang. So we got the we got the normal, you know, Voltaire, Quiver, we got Snapdragon Skills, Perch Scrapplers, Hornet Sting, Shock Charmers, New Horizons, Fiendle's Spring Tunic, and Trench. Uh, going with the Shock Charmers instead of the, the normal gloves this weekend, I just think the it's a little bit better versus Icelander and uh, gets you a bit more coverage against Kano and you know, I gotta respect Kano as a Kano enjoyer. And then Trench, obviously, is I think a key part of this deck, especially with Warmongers. This is gonna be our equipment suite. And now let's go over to our main board reds today. All right, now we're here at our main board reds today. As you can see, we have a lot of zero cost arrows, one cost, and then some pumps in that deck. So we're gonna start at the top over here. So we're looking at Endless Arrow here as you know one of the best cards in lexi we've got a red bolton shot red searing shot red drill shot and red falcon wing as well to lead out of our zero cost blue all solid cards something that i always want to see when playing this deck through here and then we're going with the three main board remorseless this weekend just think it's going to be one of those good arrows especially for this weekend and this more of a trending towards an order of an aggressive meta here and a lot of mirrors coming up i think remorseless is really key then we got the heat seeker and the red infecting shot as well just super super key cards coming into that one cost just super good arrows and then we got three red ice quakes and two premeditates with that three three of a kind there just going to be these additional five pumps here is going to get us over i think i really like to have these non-attacks um i don't know really know if the should have six here i've been liking the five number a little bit i'm not too high on premeditates but i do think it is one heck of a card so we'll have to see where this goes moving forward uh in that pro quest season but I'm on that three ice quakes because I think there's going to be a lot of aggro this weekend and that premeditate is just like a generically good card here. So there's going to be those main board reds. Let's get into those yellows now. Main board yellows here. We've got, you know, Codex of Frailty, arguably the best card in the game currently. Just so much value on a card in itself. Being able to get a card from your discard. I think the really underwritten this is like pairing this with CNC late into the game. Really, really good. Rain Razors, obviously one of the big combo pieces of this deck, allowing you to go super tall and super wide in the same turn. Super, super good. And then we have two Codex of Inertia main board here. Only playing two in the list, but I think this card is super underrated, especially going against, you know, Icelander and some of those decks. I think Codex of Inertia is just a really good call right now. And I think it's pretty good into that draw my matchup as well, which is I hope I'm going to see a lot of it this weekend. So that's going to be our main board yellows. And now let's look at our main board blues, which are pretty spicy this weekend. All right, now we're looking at our main board blues here. We're going to have five ice cards this weekend. We're playing three Winter's Bite and then two Cold Snap. I think Cold Snap is going to be one of those pretty underrated cards. Just as another ice blue at that slot, being able to get that uh, frostbite to our opponents. And also this this has all this a lot of text for that mirror here. I think this is gonna be one of those key cards that we're gonna see pop up more, especially at the end that was showcased at Calling Taipei last weekend. And I think this is gonna be one of those key cards there. Only running two, because it is a two block and I don't wanna see it on that three of a kind turn, but this is pretty key. And I, uh, I have won games off this card in testing this week. And I think it's gonna be really good. But I mean, running out the blues, we got three drill shots three searing shots, three Bolton shots, and then, you know, this is some backward cards. Uh, I need three blue Widowmakers, and my friend is bringing them tomorrow, but these three uh, blue Widowmakers are kind of uh, pretty much in testing today, uh, going through it. I think the blue Widowmakers are really good because it, they do demand two cards, well, and coming in for like five, like four or five, I believe, uh, as a blue, which is pretty, pretty good, and I can't wait to Make these Widowmakers tomorrow. This is gonna be our main board blues. Let's go look at our sideboard real quick. All right, now these are gonna be our sideboard cards for this weekend. We do play a 57 card main board. So we're looking to put in at least three cards into every single matchup, maybe take some other cards out to put some of these in in certain matchups. But we're gonna start at the top here. We're gonna look at these two yellow target traps here. 
Uh, these are really, really good in the near and versus the on hit decks. Just in, like not having that on hit trigger because of the star pack trap, super, super key, especially in the near. Love this weekend. Another card that I, I hope is going to be good this weekend is going to be these hamstring shots, making the next, the first attack they do will cost one more next turn. It's going to be super, super big to try to slow down all the other decks in the format. And then speaking of slowing down all the decks in the format, red Arctic Consideration. One of my favorite cards in this deck, of course, creating three frostbites under your hero, uh, opponent's hero control just demands an extra blue out of them you know how resource denial is so good in this game and i can't wait to see how good this is versus some of these degenerate aggro decks in the format that might be popping up and then we're gonna look at some poppers here we got three command and conquers yes three command and conquers in lexi just think these are super super good with codex of frailty and it's honestly the popper i want to see versus dromai as well so playing the full three copies of command and conquer and i'm only playing two red battering bolts this weekend usually i'm on a three battering bolt two cnc guy but i just think the cncs are just so good especially in the mirror especially in a lot of those other things to where i want to see more command and conquers with batter bolts battering bolts most of the time so made that switch to this three and then two here this weekend but would be playing five poppers all this weekend and then i think there's gonna be a decent amount of bravo showing up today usually i'm not a really a big believer of bravo being good but i heard some pretty good people are playing bravo this weekend so i am packing a full three fatigue shot for that bravo this weekend to give a little bit of respect towards them i think these would be the cards to give me a good enough chance to win this weekend as well. This is gonna be our Bright Lights deck tech for Lexi here. Just got a little, little video before I get into the calling Dallas this weekend. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have fun in your progress. See ya.